Hey folks, welcome back. In today's show, we're going to talk a little bit more about grip strength and this $29 dynamometer. This is a tool that you can get over at amazon.com. I will link it in the description below. Very affordable, and it's actually a really fun thing to do. I bring this to dinner parties sometimes with my health-related friends, and there is a significant difference in people who just do yoga and cardio versus people who weightlift in terms of their overall strength. And Again, we talk a lot about LDL cholesterol and visceral fat changes, but how many people are actually testing their strength and being intentional, volitional about improving their strength over time? Because I don't need to tell you, we've talked about these studies before. When COVID-19 was killing people, there was research showing that loss of grip strength or low grip strength was independently associated with intensive care time and all-cause mortality from COVID-19. We've talked about all the different studies. There's been million, literally millions of subjects who have tested their grip strength test and looked at mortality, all-cause mortality, cardiovascular disease, sarcopenia, all of the diseases associated with aging. So we should be testing this and you should be testing this at home because I have clients who are like, you know what? Yeah, I work out. I walk. I have these rubber bands. I do a rubber band workout. And I say, okay, well, what's your grip strength? And they have no idea. And once they start to realize that their grip strength is pretty weak in relation to their age, they are like, okay, I get it now, Mike. I need to start doing push-ups, pull-ups, deadlifts, squats, hinges, all the compound lifts that actually involve multiple joints. Because when you do those exercises, your multiple joint movements, you're lifting more weight, you're getting stronger, and that's important. So there's nothing inherently that unique about grip strength insofar as it alone, if you only trained your grip strength, you're missing out on your back, your chest, your legs. It is associated with whole body increases in strength. That's the important point here. So let's just test mine. I'm cold right now. I'm 40. Uh, yeah, 40. I'll be 41 this year. And I have no idea where it's going to be. So, okay, 146.8. This is cold, no exercise, no warm up. Um, my right hand, 146.8. I think in relation to my age, I mean, that, that puts me in the over 90th percentile. I don't know exactly what that is. It's, it just says on here strong. There's different calculators that you can do. Um, just for fun, I'm going to test my left arm, which is significantly weaker. Um, 118? Oh, man, that's, that's not so good. Let, let me do that again. Um, wow. Okay, let me try that one more time. Okay, 123.2. Not much different than 118. So, you can see here, uh, I need to train more unilaterally. Um, you know, for example, if I'm doing bicep curls or carries, I might benefit from doing dumbbells as opposed to a trap bar. Um, you know, and, and so training unilaterally to improve the the strength on my left arm, which you know I'm I'm right hand dominant. I do everything with my right hand, so it makes sense that it's it's significantly stronger, twenty pounds stronger. Um, but it's a really cool tool, $29 investment. You can do this with your kids. My daughter's playing with this all the time and we're noticing linear iterative improvements in her grip strength. I think it's fun. I've, I've had many friends, we go in the sauna, we come out, I'm like, hey, what's your grip strength? And like, well, you can do this and they get self-conscious and this, but I think it's, it's a lot of fun. So anyway, um, you know, again, I want to, convince people to, to shift away. We focus so much on LDL cholesterol. Folk, you know, people focus a lot on glucose. All these things are important, but what about preserving strength? I mean, that's what's going to keep you out of the nursing home. That's what's going to keep you living independently. That what That's what will enable you to travel. You know, how many people work their entire lives, they retire, and they say they're going to travel, they're going to do these things, they're going to have a farm, and they have disease, and they're so uh, morbid. They have ailments that prevents them from living full productive lives. So that's why I like to encourage strength training. We have the glute masterclass that I will link below. We have a lot of different tools and resources, various videos with experts to help you incorporate weightlifting into your program, focusing on compound movements, not just isolated one joint movements like bicep curls, hamstring curls, leg extensions, doing squats, deadlifts, uh, hip thrusts. All of those things are very helpful. Pull-ups, push-ups, presses, all that but this is just a tool to check your progress, right? If you have a bad night's sleep, you can expect to be weaker. You have a good night's sleep, eat ample protein, you're recovering, you should expect your strength to linearly increase with time. So invest in this, $29, it's a cool tool. It comes with batteries, I was surprised. It came with these little batteries, didn't even have to go out and buy the, buy the darn batteries, which is really nice. So I will link that in the description below and some of the resources about the importance of grip strength when it comes to disease prevention and living a healthy full life. So- Invest in your health, my friends. We'll catch you on a future video down the road.